Hey YouTube, this is Eric from Thumping Up Fish, and I'm here with my daughter Samantha, and we're making one of our favorite meals, which is yummy fried fish. And we're going to use some fresh caught striper fillets that we just caught yesterday, and we're going to go ahead and make this recipe. So, Samantha, are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. So the first thing that we've done is we've mixed half a cup of flour with two tablespoons of Tony saturated. So we're going to seal that up and mix it up real good. So I'm going to have Samantha help with that. Shake that up, Samantha. While she's doing that, I'm going to grab a couple of the striper fillets. I basically filleted them and let them sit overnight to soak out some of the blood. Now I'm just going to dry them off real good. Okay, that should be good, Samantha. So I'll take a couple of these fillets. And then once they're done drying, I'm going to go ahead and drop them into the tunnies and dust them off real good. So here's one. There's two. Put the lid back on it. You can also cut these up in smaller pieces to make those a little bit easier to manage going forward. But we've got plenty of fish and uh, we're just going to leave them in big pieces today. All right, so we have to shake that up. While she's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and dump in. This is about two scoops of melted vanilla bean ice cream. So I'm going to dump it on this plate. That should be good, Samantha. And take that out. And what I'm going to do is, once these fillets are nice and well dusted my, by my amazing assistant, I'm going to go ahead and take those out and dredge them into vanilla bean ice cream. So what that's going to do is it's going to get them, it's going to offset the, the spiciness of the Cajun seasoning with a little bit of sweetness from the vanilla bean. And then I'm going to drop them in panko. So I haven't measured this panko, it really doesn't matter. I'm just using enough panko to cover up the fish. But I want to get them nice and dredged here and then put them into this container so that we can shake them up. I'll go ahead and cover this one up, hand it to my amazing assistant. All right, Samantha, shake away. While she's doing that, I'll just keep working on a few more pieces of fish. I just basically throw them right into the dredge. Okay, Samantha, that should be good. Okay, so now the panko's all fried up or battered up. So what I'll do is I'll take it out. Not yet. That one's not ready yet. And that's what we'll go ahead and fry. So you can see it's covered in panko. Um, nice and well coated, well breaded. And that'll be good for frying later on tonight. So if you can see the fillets are all covered in uh, panko, then we're going to go ahead and finish battering up this fish and we'll be ready to fry it later on. So now you got the fish all battered up. It's got the panko coating on it. It's ready to go. It's got a plate. So once we fry it, we're getting ready to put it on a plate and let it drain. And then as you can see, we've got a pan full of olive oil that's heating up on the stove. So once the oil gets heated up, we'll go ahead and start frying the fish. You can see we've dropped some fish into the oil and it's cooking. It uh, cooks pretty fast, takes about one minute on each side to cook. And then when it's done, it'll be a nice crispy golden brown like the ones you see over here. And once they're done, they're ready to serve. All right, now my daughter Samantha is gonna give it the taste test. Go ahead and give it a try, Samantha, see if you like it. How's it taste? Yummy. Is it yummy? All right, awesome. So there you have it, it's our yummy fried fish recipe. Go ahead and give this a try next time you catch a nice striper.